Our daily Bible reading for January 20th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10. We'll begin reading in verse 21 through the end of the chapter. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you'll be hated by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. A disciple is not above his teacher, nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher, and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them. For nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. A few thoughts for today. There is something to be said about having a sense of self-worth. Many times we may have a problem with too much or too little self-worth. Yet in God's eyes, our worth is beyond measure. Though here we are compared to a worth greater than that of sparrows, the comparison goes much further when put into perspective of how God cares for even the least of His creatures. If he watches over those least in our eyes, think of how much he lavishes on those who are greatest. The word fear used here in the Greek is phobia. You may recognize it as the same word we get phobia from. Webster's defines this as a painful emotion or passion excited by an expectation of evil or the apprehension of impending danger. Fear expresses less apprehension than dread, and dread less than terror and fright. Whether phobia or fear, we find that this emotion controls many of us to some degree or another. To fear the unknown is at times to let an unreasonable myth control our lives. The unknown in this example that Jesus gives is one which God says is really unknown. We may see the future as a blank slate and thus a source of fear over what we don't know. God assures us that all is in His control, and as such we are in His hands, tenderly cared for. This is a theme in which Jesus visits several times in His ministry. Our trust in God to provide and not to worry. He tells us in the Sermon on the Mount, Do not worry then, saying, What shall we eat, or what will we drink, or what we wear for clothing. For Gentiles eagerly seek all these things, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Matthew chapter 6, verse 31 and 32. God would not give a command such as that without giving a cause to remedy such a fate. 
we also read in Matthew 6.33, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. A question of the day. Have you considered your worth in God's eyes? And finally, a thought to meditate on this day. We may have received a gift from a friend or a relative which has caused us to value it beyond what its monetary value is. We, too, are valued far beyond money. And those are our thoughts for today, January 20th.